Wow, I cannot believe I got Packy up here. My name is Susan and this is an episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you'll stick around and join me because today it's a Susie solo. It's not a van trip though, but this is the first time that I have brought Packy to Lone Wolf Mountain. The road here is crazy, it's very steep, so I was a little bit nervous, but we're up here at the top and we're gonna have an adventure. I've gotten lots and lots of requests for a Susie solo and coming up here with the channel, I'm actually gonna be doing two trips. The first one starts now and it's at the cabin. I will fill you in on what's going on, where's Luke, what's happening, and I hope you'll stick around because I will reveal some secrets. So for those of you that are missing Luke, stick around and I'll tell you some secrets about him. For now, let's unpack the van and get into the cabin. This is home for tonight. I got everything brought into the cabin and there really wasn't a whole lot to bring in since we keep the cabin pretty stocked. I just had to bring my food, a heater, some fuel, water, and my overnight bag. Because today is such a nice day and we're having mild temps, I'm thinking about going back out to the patio and spending the rest of the evening out there. We will have our propane fire pit. I'm very lucky and I'm very happy that it's mild and not freezing cold. It is fall, we're getting late into fall, and so far the weather's pretty mild. So let's get back out on the patio. It's time for coffee and time for relaxing. I don't know if you all have noticed how dark it is out here, but it is that time of the day that I like to call dark 30. But also it's dark because we have a lot of rain coming, which is great news for this area because we are currently still under a burn ban. The latest forecast said it could rain anytime this afternoon and evening, but the brunt of it is coming in tonight. The plan is to sit out here and enjoy the nice weather, make some coffee, and we'll do some more chit chatting in a little bit. I cannot wait for this cup of coffee. A long time ago, we had a viewer send in these little coffee bags, and it's essentially ground coffee that's in a tea bag. And I really like these, so I have been buying them on my own. If you want a real true cup of coffee, you can go with something like this, and you don't have to drink the nasty crap that Luke drinks. Before anyone gets mad, I'm totally joking about the instant being crappy coffee. It's actually pretty good and I've been known to down some Taster's Nasty Hazelnut. That stuff actually rocks. It's so funny how much feedback we get about the type of coffee that Luke drinks and all of his weird combos. Whoever did send this in a long time ago, 
I know you were trying to like upgrade and elevate his taste. It did not work, but you did upgrade my taste. This really is a good cup of coffee and it tastes just like you brewed it from a coffee pot. So good. It's boiling hot just the way I like it too. Super hot. <laughs> I love it here, it's so peaceful. We're really lucky it's such a beautiful day today. As far as why I chose to come out here to the cabin, it's because this place is awesome and I love our cabin, but I don't get to come out here quite as much as I would like to. I have to say for the past year we've been so busy and so I've only been able to come out here and enjoy it just for a few days here and there, but not really ever get to spend the night. So I'm super excited to be out here be solo and have the whole place to myself. Oh yeah, I'm sure you guys are wondering where Luke is at and why he's not here. Luke has a lot of work commitments that he has to do and this week is one of them. He will be back next week and then he'll be gone again. So that gives me a great opportunity to do the solo trips that you all have requested. But Luke is a workaholic and he has lots of irons in the fire as people say. So he's always very busy and he had some commitments that he could not get out of. So it was a great opportunity for me to say, hey, I'll go do a cabin trip I love it out here. And also about two weeks ago, Luke and I installed some rain blades over the windows and doors here with our cabin. I'll take you guys around and show you those, but I wanted to see how they perform in rain. Like I mentioned earlier, tonight is supposed to be very rainy. Hopefully we get maybe an inch of rain, but it will be great to have the windows open. I think it's gonna be a game changer for the cabin really, so that the windows don't have to be sealed up when it's raining and we can have that good airflow in there. We found these window rain blades for the cabin trailer and they are made for RVs and other types of trailers. And we put one on each of the windows and all of the doors here for the trailer. You can buy different sizes. But let me tell you, these things are super strong and the glue on them, once you are ready to attach, you better know what you're doing because they literally just stick and you cannot get them off. They are very like industrial strength hardcore window blades. This window here was the test window and Luke installed this one by himself. He barely tapped it and it stuck like crazy. He could not pull it off to straighten it up. So if you need something like this, just be warned that you better know where you wanna stick it because that glue sticks and it is very, very strong. As far as the cabin goes here at Lone Wolf, we've had that for well over a year and Luke and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. He gets to use it more than I do because it's a bailout when he has tent failures in the rain. We get a lot of funny emails and messages and comments in general about the cabin and things that we should do to it or concerns about someone locking us inside because of the lock on the outside. I'm only sharing this because it is funny, but this right here has caused so many comments and messages and people think that we're gonna get locked inside. But here's the trick. If you're concerned about it, you can lock this. You can put your lock here and then nobody can come lock you inside. We are in a very remote part of North Carolina. I have zero concern about that. And if you're concerned about that, I think you should camp somewhere else. But in all seriousness, it is no concern. It's not an issue. I appreciate the feedback and the comments but it's really not necessary. Just to be clear about 99.9% .9 of all of the comments and feedback that we do get, they're helpful, they're positive, but every now and then the weird ones, you know, we all just kind of have to laugh at it. It's fun to talk about. I'll just leave it at that. You guys are great. 99.9% .9 of everyone is great. All the feedback is great and we love it. We love you guys. You know what? It just got really hot out here. Whew. I have to take off my jacket now, but um, I don't need that fire. I think we'll just skip on that. I don't know what's going on. The temps are rising. Whew. Honestly, y'all, I've messed up. I do not have the right connector for these smaller propane tanks. 
so we are out of luck and there won't be a fire. I could cut all of this out and make myself look good, but let's face it, we live in the real world and this is what happens. I goofed, I made a mistake, did not get the right connector for this tank, so no fire for me. Luckily, it's really not that cold, so it's okay. We'll just continue to sit out here and enjoy the rest of the evening. Cannot believe I did that. Have you all ever seen anyone use a Mr. Buddy heater outside before? I know it's not supposed to be used outside, it's an indoor heater, but this is plan B, this is my fire. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this fire. <laughs> I know this seems ridiculous, but it actually feels amazing. The heat's just coming at me, hitting my legs. It really does feel nice. In all seriousness, this wasn't plan B. I was just being funny. Sometimes humor can be lost on others. So, you know, I don't take things too seriously and I hope you all don't either. I'm just kind of goofing around, playing around, having a good time and enjoying myself. For now, let's turn it off. This was meant for the cabin. We might need it later tonight or first thing in the morning if it's chilly. I think it's time for dinner though. For tonight's dinner, I'm gonna warm up some chili, put some cheese on it, add some chips and avocado. Very simple meal. Nothing to it, just gonna heat everything up. All right, everyone, it is time to eat dinner. This smells really good. Mm. This is chili, avocado, a little bit of cheese, and tortilla chips. It's actually a meal that I eat quite often because it's so easy. The chili's from a pouch that you can just buy at the grocery store. Makes the perfect camping meal because there's really nothing to it. You just have to heat it up. I couldn't ask for a better evening out here. I wanted to stay out as long as I possibly could and get every bit of light before we retire to the cabin. I brought the lantern out. It is getting dark pretty quickly though, but I think there's time to finish our dinner out here. By the way, I wanna make it clear when I say we, we will retire to the cabin, that means me and you all. I'm out here by myself, but I'm talking to you guys. I've brought you with me. I'm talking to the camera the whole evening. So when I say that, I'm talking about you all. I know it's confusing for some people. They're always like, who's we? Who's with you? <laughs> I think I've answered a thousand emails with that exact question. It's too funny. I'm loving every bit of this trip. 
the meal's amazing, the setting is amazing, the sun's going down, it's like the perfect setting for tonight. And really, you know, we haven't done a whole lot, but that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a very low key trip. It was perfect for me to get back in front of the camera and practice using the camera, low key, not a lot going on. My fingers are still crossed for rain, maybe some storms, we'll see. But this is perfect. I think that's my cue. I'm done. <laughs> They're really cute on the trail camera, but I'm going inside, so see ya. <laughs> I do have a mess to clean up, so I'm gonna get that done and I will see you all back inside. When I heard the coyote start up, I find it a little bit unnerving. So I decided to get inside and clean up and bring everything else in. They can have the outdoor space and I will hang out in here. They're really cute when I see them on the trail camera. I'm always like, oh, they're so cute. But when you're sitting outside and you're alone and you hear a big pack of them, mm, I feel much better in here, so. I think I know what you all have been waiting for and that's the secrets that I have about Luke. So let's chat for a little bit and I will reveal some stuff that you may not know about him. You have heard me say that Luke is a workaholic and I'm sure that you have even heard himself say that. And it is truth, it is 100% fact that he is a workaholic. But here's the funny thing about him. He truly loves all the work that he does. He has many different jobs and he loves everything about each one of them. And he's always saying like, I can't wait to have some downtime or a day off or, oh, it would be so great to have like a week off. And then if there's ever a day where he doesn't really have anything to do, he lasts about maybe two hours before he's like, okay, I'm done. That was enough time. I'm going back to work. And I always just laugh, especially when he's trying to tell me that he can't wait to have a week off because I know it's not true. He loves his work and he works all day. He works all night. I go to bed often by myself at night because he's up working and he just loves it. The next secret about Luke is really going to knock your socks off. Did you all know that he has been in GQ magazine? That's right. He has made it into GQ magazine. He was featured in the October edition. I'm very proud of him for what he's accomplished. So that's something you probably didn't know, but he made it into GQ. Oh, did I mention it was the Taiwanese GQ? Yeah, the Taiwanese edition, he made it in there. Still, huge accomplishment. <laughs> I'm trying to say this with a straight face. It is really funny. It is a huge accomplishment and we laugh about it all the time because everyone's like, wow, you were in GQ. And then it's like, pause, dot, 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 dot. Oh, it's the Taiwanese edition. <laughs> if you get the magazine, you won't even be able to read what it says. <laughs> we laugh about it all the time, but I think it's pretty awesome. The next thing that you may not know about Luke is that he hates wasting time. So it is the little things that drive him crazy, not the big things. So for example, if our car breaks down or if the roof starts leaking at home, he's like, no big deal. But if he can't get his watch to sync with his phone, he is incredibly pissed off. He 
hates things that like waste time and that doesn't make sense. So he says he expects like the car to break down, but like why won't his phone do what he wants it to do? Or why won't his watch sync with his phone? He gets raging mad about that and I honestly just laugh about it because to me it makes no sense. So that is a funny thing about him, but a great thing about our relationship is like he can handle the big stuff, no big deal, and so that can keep me more calm and grounded and I can usually handle the smaller stuff and even though he does get kind of mad, I can ground him and bring him back down. So it's really funny to see him get really mad about the small really small, like irrelevant stuff. The real truth about Luke is that you see who he is in every single one of his videos. He loves being out, he loves filming his adventures and sharing information and what you see is really Luke and that is who he is. You know, the funny little things about getting mad and all that stuff. Everybody gets mad, everybody has their little quirks, but he is a genuine person and who you see on camera is the real Luke and we all know he's awesome. I can't wait to tell him about the cabin trip. I'm sure we will talk later tonight or I will talk to him in the morning and I can't wait to share how the trip went and we'll let this part be like a little secret for him when he sees the final video and maybe in his next trip he can share some things with you all about me that you may not know or may not see on camera but I like to think that our true personalities do come through on camera. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to kick back and wait for the rain to start. Should be happening pretty soon. It is update time. I've been hanging out here in the cabin with the heat going. It's very cozy. It's about eight o'clock now and I was doing some reading or trying to read at least, but those coyotes, they're being really obnoxious and you know, to be honest, it's like a little unnerving, I don't know, maybe scary, but overall really it's fine. As long as they are out there, I'm inside, everything's locked up. I feel good about that. I think I'm going to make some tea and probably get ready for bed soon. I think the rain is coming though, probably in about 15-20 minutes it looks like we might have some moderate rain hitting us. For this trip coming out to the cabin, it definitely makes it a luxurious camping trip. But to me, it still is camping. It's been a few years ago, but I heard this girl talking one time and she was saying how she hated camping because who would want to go to the woods and eat Chef Boardee out of a can? And I overheard this conversation, but I couldn't help but say like, it doesn't really matter like what your shelter is, it's just getting out in nature and enjoying it. So for some people, maybe they do go to the woods and they eat Chef Boyardee. It doesn't matter. Maybe some come to like a little cabin in the woods. It's just really connecting, taking a moment for yourself, connecting to nature and the world around us. And that's what I love about it. Mm. That's the perfect sipping temperature. Boiling hot. 
So for my next trip, I'm thinking of taking out my Coleman tent. I have this Coleman Sky Dome and it's super girly. You all are gonna love it. And I wanna go out and do a true rain trip. Be in a tent, be out in the rain, have a tarp. You know, I watch all of the trips that Luke does. I watch his videos and I'm like, oh, that looks so much fun. And I know that there's a part of it that's miserable because you can get cold, you can get wet, and there's aspects to that that's going to be miserable. But I'm determined to do it. It might be awful, it might be hilarious. I might very well be miserable, but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna bring you all along. And I'm excited to see how my Coleman tent does. You know, everyone's heard of Coleman, they've been around forever. I grew up camping in a Coleman tent and sometimes they're really great. We hear from people all the time that take their Coleman's out in storms and rain and they're like, it did great. And then the very next day you will hear from someone and they're like, oh, I had a Coleman and it leaked. So you do not know what you will get. In fact, when I first bought my Coleman tent, I wanted it because of the colors. Just you guys wait. But when I first bought it, it arrived broken and I was like, oh no, this is, this is not starting off well. But I contacted them, got a replacement. The second one is good. I've set it up at home. Everything's good with it and it looks good. So we shall see how that goes. I really appreciate you all sticking around with my Suzy solo trip and I hope you will join me on my next one in the Coleman tent. We will see what happens. I will see you all in the morning. I plan to wake up early. Hopefully the rain has stopped and we will have a beautiful sunrise. Good night everyone. Thanks for joining me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope you all slept great. I myself slept really great here at the cabin. I listened to rain off and on most of the night. I woke up around 4 a.m., turned on my Mr. Heater Buddy to warm the place back up. I got my wool sweater on this morning and it's feeling pretty cozy in here now. The plan is to finish cleaning up the cabin, make up the bed, and then it will be time for my favorite part of the day, coffee time. Some of you may know that I am a knitter and I'm wearing my latest creation, this sweater. It is made from 100% wool, so that combined with the Mr. Heater Buddy, I am very toasty and I had to turn the heat off just a few minutes ago. The water is on now, so we will have coffee in a few minutes and then followed by breakfast.
finally the sun is coming up. It's been dark and gloomy most of the morning, so I've kind of taken my time getting ready, getting up. I'm having a slow morning, as they would say. Coffee's hot, let's give it a try. Typically I like to drink a cup of coffee and then I will go make breakfast for myself at home. It's kind of funny when Luke is on these trips, he acts like he hates breakfast and doesn't want to eat, but guess what he does when he gets home? He wants breakfast. <laughs> so sometimes he's coming home and it's like really lunchtime and he was like, um, is there anything for breakfast? So don't let him fool you. He does like to eat breakfast. He may just not want to make it for himself. By the way, before I forget, I have a shout out to do. I want to give a shout out to Jeremy. I saw him at Best Buy and I hope you weren't too disappointed that Luke wasn't with me. It was one of those rare occasions where he's not with me because he's out of town. But Luke wanted to tell you hello and I just wanted to say it was cool to meet you, cool to run into you, and I appreciate you watching the videos. For breakfast this morning, what I made is a cinnamon raisin English muffin with peanut butter, and I covered it with some fried apples, which are like cooked apples. And it's really good if you put a little bit of the juice over the English muffin, and then I topped it with some walnuts. This is one of my favorite meals to eat. I just made it up. It doesn't really have a name. Maybe you all can come up with a name for it. It's really, really tasty though. The juice from the apples soaks into the English muffin. Every bite is so delicious. I'm not kidding, it's so good. This is a great place to end this adventure. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my slow morning, eat my breakfast, finish my coffee, pack up, throw everything in the van, and get back home. I'm not in any kind of rush to get back home. It's the weekend, I don't have any work to do. Luckily, I can take some time for myself this morning here at the cabin. I really appreciate you all joining me for my Susie solo here at Lone Wolf Mountain in our cabin trailer. This place is really special, not only to me, but to Luke as well, and we love it here. I hope you all take some time for yourself. Get out in nature. Take some time for yourself as well. I will see you all very soon in a tent in the woods. Another Susie Solo coming up soon. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Strength and honor. Thank you.